Hey there everyone, this is Danielle conducting another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, as you remember, remember in the previous video we made our way back to Lake Lamode. I mean, we finished Post Arena, we're now in Lake Lamode. Uh, so what the experiment I wanted to do here was whether you can get all the moons without leaving the water rather than entering the water. Uh, we need eight moons, so we're gonna go in some water and we're gonna try to get all the moons. Uh, we won't use this pool of water because it's so very very small. Uh, if you look at the map it's just this chunk here, whereas if you go over there and into the tunnel and take the water there it covers this whole area and is more likely to give us the moons we need. So we're looking for a total of eight. Uh, if we can't make it we'll have to bend the rules a little bit, uh, but I think maybe we'll be okay. We'll see how we go. So yeah, uh, entering the water now. Obviously you can't start in the water, so we do have to go into it as part of the video, but that's okay. So yeah, there's one moon here in this tunnel, so we'll grab that first. Uh, it's around this corner. It's over this direction. A chest hiding here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's one out of five. Sorry, out of eight. <laughs> Why did I say five? <laughs> one out of eight. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta dodge these guys, make sure they don't hit you. There we go. Uh, you can get a fish here, and then you'll be able to breathe underwater, which is handy because we're stuck underwater. We can go on the surface if we want, we just don't want to, you know, get out of the water. Uh, okay, let's go for these moon shards. There's five of them. Uh, and that'll give us another moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There's also a couple other moons we can just grab sort of floating around here and there. Uh, and there's also a moon on Dory's back there. One of the moon shards is actually in that bubble there. Duh. Yeah, which we're not allowed to enter because that's out of the water. Uh, so to get that, we have to stand up here on the edge and just, whoop. Just get ourselves positioned right into a downward cap throw so that Cappy goes down there and grabs the moon shard for us. Like that. Uh, we can go to the surface, get some air, so let's do that. Uh, okay, so we can get, uh, we still need some more moon shards and we need one more. Well, we need, we need two more moon shards, I think. Yeah, two more. Uh, there's also a moon over here that we can get, so we'll get that. There we go. That one's like super well hidden, there's no indication it's there until you get into position and then there's like a rumble effect to hint that it's there, which is why Cappy says, wow, good find. Yeah! Okay, that's four moon shards. The last one is in this room here. There we go. Uh, and that and that spawns a moon we can grab out there. Uh, and that gets us to five out of eight. And that's the point where there's actually a bit of a problem for us. Uh, because there aren't that many moons out here in the, like, non-watery areas, in the watery areas. Um, I was surprised at this. I mean, I, I have already done this experiment, obviously, because I, I made the video and then it broke and I had to do it again. So, yeah, I, I already knew what was going to happen in this case. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can get five from this big area here. That's the limit, I think. I don't think there are any others you can get underwater. Uh, if the story had been done, there would be a scarecrow on this platform, which would give us another moon. Uh, we could throw Cappy while sitting here in the water and get her to activate the scarecrow. The actual moon spawns down there, so we could get it without any problem. Um, a couple of other places, I believe, if we'd done the story, we'd be able to get some more moons, but we haven't done the story because the story is up there on top of that platform, obviously out of the water, so we can't do it. Um... We can get two more moons if we allow ourselves to enter this room over here. Uh, the entrance is underwater. The actual room isn't. Uh, so basically the experiment is a failure at this point, but we're going to see where we can get the last three moons we need. Uh, if we go into here, 
So we can reach this door, but the actual room is not underwater. You can see it's like well lit and stuff. Um, so you can't like go into here and get the moons that way and still be underwater. Although the room is very foggy, you could argue that the fog is water <laughs> because that's how fog works. Um, I believe you can actually go over this way. Hmm, I'm not quite sure where it is, but I think there's actually a shortcut you can do by going around there. It's hard to tell because of all the fog. Um, maybe if I do like a cappy roll jump sort of thing? Let's see. This little lip is annoying. It's getting in the way. Uh, I could probably stand on it and then throw like this. Yeah, that'll work. Dang it. You can see there's there's the area, so if I can do a good cappy roll jump, I can probably get over there. Um... Because that one, that, that wasn't actually a proper cappy roll jump. What happened was, um... Yep, it worked. It worked. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Uh, what happened with that first one was Cappy wasn't above the ground, so I got an air bounce instead of a vault. And that uses up the bounce, so I get it again. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So you can actually complete this area without unzipping any zippers, which is really interesting, because I thought that was impossible. Um, but yeah, so we don't need to do any zippers, because we didn't have to unzip that first one to get to this side. And we won't have to unzip anything else to do this part, because I didn't bother to unzip anything else last time I did this part in the previous experiment. <laughs> well, the well, same experiment, but the one that didn't get recorded. <sighs> but yeah, you don't need to unzip any of the zippers here, you can just do it without. So yeah, you can get five moons uh, if you allow yourself only to get the ones that are actually underwater. You can get to seven if you allow yourself to get these two as well, uh, which is arguably cheating, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, yeah, we're not doing coinless at this point. <laughs> so yeah, um, doing this sub area gets you to seven. Basically, you're saying I'm allowed in this sub area because the entrance to the sub area was underwater, which is probably a reasonable argument, I think. There we go. Uh, now we're gonna walk back here. We couldn't actually get out through the door because the zipper was in the way because I didn't open it. There we go. Okay, so yeah, at this point we have seven moons, and I s you seem pretty stuck for the eight. Um, and indeed, that there, there aren't any others that you can reach. Um, we have to bend a few more rules to get the last one. Um, because yeah, there's, there are only five that are accessible from this pool of water. Um, without, you know, exiting the water in one way or another. So we're gonna bend another rule here and let ourselves uh, out of the water to go to the other pool of water. Um, by which I mean if you come back to the beginning here, there's some other water. Ugh. There's the water out there, basically, where we saw at the beginning. This water here has moon in it, so we're gonna go over there and do that one. Uh, that does mean exiting the water here, because otherwise you can't get out. Uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And the moon I'm thinking of is this one here. Uh, so we'll get we'll get these notes, and then we'll see that there's actually one more problem. Uh, once I've got the, no the notes, which shouldn't take too long. Uh oh, the moon spawns up there. <laughs> so yeah, um, you can get five moons by swimming around in the big pool over there. You can get seven if you let yourself go into that sub area. You can only get eight if you let yourself out of the water to grab this moon. Uh, I suppose you could try to avoid landing on the ground, like, sort of... Ah, dang it. I interrupted my, my dive because of the moon. Uh, anyway, um, 
if you could maybe like s snare it without actually touching the ground if you did the right dives and stuff, but you've definitely gotten out of the water and that's what the challenge was about. So yeah, the challenge of the get get enough moons without exiting the water is impossible. You can get to five, plus if you go into the sub area you can get to seven, plus if you let yourself get this moon by getting out of the water you can get eight. So five is the amount that's manageable. Uh, which which really surprised me. I honestly thought that they would, like, you don't need very many moons here, you only need eight, and there's a lot of moons just all over the place in this kingdom. It's really easy to accidentally get all the moons you need without doing the story. Uh, but a lot of them aren't underwater. For example, this one over here, uh, you can't get because it's right out here on the land and you can't go over there. Um... Likewise for some of the stuff in crates and stuff over there, you, you can't get them because they're actually not underwater. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. It didn't take very long because I already knew exactly which moons I was going to go for. Because I already recorded this video and it broke. So, yeah. Um, but now that we've done it for realsies, and hopefully this recording survives, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!